this that gas. Lolo, bring that shit back. Every day I get high, it's like Stuff a cone, I just roll them like Every day I get blowed, I'm like I really get real stoned, I'm like Every day I just vibe and get Man, I'm really just high, I'm just All day I just vibe and just Really stoned, I'm really There go Rupert smoking on some good I ain't lying Got me coughing hard, bringing tears in my eyes. Yeah, you know me, smoking until I'm choking. Walking, I cough at house, nigga saying that I'm cold. And I ain't lying, cause they know a nigga on it. Just stop just to snatch something, we got me on it. On top of that, the we got me on it. Stop by this bitch so she can jump on it. And after that, nigga, back to the smoking. Back to the choking, we got me dumb, but a nigga stay focused. So don't try me. If you want pounds, combine, cause nigga, nigga stay buying them. And I ain't lying, dude, I'm tripping off the greenery. greenery. Think I'm in a crib, I'm in a whole different scenery. You niggas peeping me when I'm in the hood. Just remember one thing. Rip a smoke that good. Yeah, it's like stuff a cone, I just roll them like. Every day I get blowed, I'm like. I really get real stoned, I'm like Every day I just vibe and get Man, I'm really just high, I'm just All day I just vibe and just Really stoned, I'm really Bubba Kush, Gorilla Glue That's what I be puffing Hide in the bitch, stuck to the seat Kush, Kush Yeah, 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 everybody, we here back at the Smokers Man Cave. It's your boy, DJ Lola. Ooh, 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 DJ and Lola, I got, uh, why you do that to special me? Special guest in here, Ajari. How you doing? Hey, I'm good. How y'all doing? Uh, we got my boy Short. Already. 420 Delivery LLC in the building today like as well. Show. So, like I said, we in here uh, just putting this motherfucking place down and letting y'all know that we here and we bringing new content, new, new conversations, new situations. New situationships, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We 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 talking about all that good shit today. Uh, to just jump off a of, uh, a couple of things, you know what I'm saying? Um, we have a show tonight. I don't know this this will air in a couple of weeks, but tonight is Friday, February 23rd. Make sure y'all know that we outside at Barco's every Friday. If you ever see this and you ever in Houston, come to Barco's, check out Open Mic Night. With DJ Lolo, T Flu in the gang. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have Almighty Domino, J Letty, and so many more people in the building. And of course, this beautiful young lady right here next to me, she's definitely going to be there as well. So Everybody. make sure y'all y'all tap in and y'all understand what we got going on. So um, what was one of the uh, what was one of the first topics we were talking about, Short? Oh, oh, okay. For first topics, man. Um, man, uh, Chris Brown got canceled, man. You know what I'm saying? He got canceled. <laughs> I think canceled. Chris Brown always been canceled. Yeah. I mean, but you, you can't say say that because it's like uh, close to Michael. You know, I'm Jackson. You know what I'm saying? Who 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 who's as close as that with that music talent? You know what I'm saying? So it's like Usher. Uh, well, sure. They took their pick. They took their pick. I'm, they made their pick already. There's only one nigga on the top of the mountain. There's only one nigga in the house. There's okay, one. Okay. But have you listened to Usher album? I understand. Uh, I listen to Usher I mean, album it, and all it, that, but okay. the 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 the, the I'm gonna call. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> our people. The majority, okay, has said that you know they picked their guy. I just think when it comes into so pretty much if you don't know what happened, uh, NBA, you know what I mean, had the All Star weekend and. Uh, 
All-Star Weekend, the, the chairman said, nah, we just don't want But firstly, uh, let me say, they asked him to play. And then they told him, like, the day before, they no longer wanted him that's, to play. That, to, that, that's, that's messed up. Well, that they part. told him, because of our sponsor, we no longer, no longer want you lays. to play. But right. we want your yeah. black ass to sit courtside. We got these Absolutely. seats right here right. for you. That, that's, that's, uh, to me, I think, to, yes, uh, that's a slap in the face. Absolutely. You know well, saying? I mean, not only that, it's a kick in the nuts because, <laughs> you know, like, first they want you, then they don't want you. You know what I'm saying? Facts, facts, facts. A slap in the face you. is like but they still want you automatically they want you to off top. There. You ain't never had – you. It, a slap in the face never came because somebody in, knew it was coming. It was oh, always right. something that was unexpected. So a kick in the nuts is is even more oxymoron because like you you square up and fight somebody and never think to this dude is about to kick me in my fucking balls right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's even worse. You know what I'm saying? Like a motherfucker kick you in the nuts. That it ain't just a slap in the face where it's gonna sting. You're gonna fold up. You're gonna feel it in your stomach. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna you're gonna feel this. And not saying he financially or anything, but. Potentially, if he was to be booked for an all-star celebrity event during all-star weekend to be playing in the all-star game, I would think that he would be booked all over the, the city. You know what I'm saying? Doing shows and events and walkthroughs and stuff like that. I mean, he probably was. I mean, but like he still aired out the NBA. You know what I'm saying? For doing that. It's like, you know, you – he made plans to be out there, and then you go ahead and tell me, like, hey, man, well, unfortunately, we just don't want a, a wife beater. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, like, the NBA put it on Ruffles, their sponsor, and then Ruffles came out and said, we ain't, I don't know, he, I don't know yeah, what they talking yeah, about. Yeah, so yeah. that kind of let everybody know, like, yeah, the NBA, ain't, they not fucking around they with that. They know they wrong, though. That's why. Nobody wants to take the fall for it because they know that they wrong. Yeah, He's a good yeah, athlete. Yeah, yeah. He played at all the other, um, you know, celebrity basketball games. Yeah, so facts. why he can't come play at this one? But y'all want, so y'all still want him though, because y'all want him to be court side. So you still want me. You just don't want me to have fun and play. There you go. Yeah, you want to pick and choose when you want to fuck with me, and I don't like that type of energy. So as a female, let's let's let us let us let us go ahead and nip this in the bud right now. As a female who's lived life and you know been on your own for a while, majority of, 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 you know what I'm saying? And been grown. Do you feel like we can forgive him for what happened? I feel like we should have been forgiven him. You know how long that's been? You know how long that's been though? I mean, it's been so long. It's almost a generate. It's almost a generation of kids that don't even know uh, that they were even an item. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) That's, that's wild. And she forgave him. They started dating and stuff after that. And they, Stop dating because they was like, um, girl, we backed you up. So you can't see him after we backed you up. You got to find somebody else. Yeah, absolutely. They still wanted to be together. after They were literally kids. They were like 18 and 19 or 17 and 18 or whatever it was. They were children. Yeah, and now so today's society will watch Blueface and Krishan beat each other up did. for fun. Swear to Diggity God. Diggity at each other. <laughs> they watch that for fun, but they'll still blame him for that. But then they watch these niggas for fun. They get rich off of beating each be other up. Mortal Kombat fatality off of each other. Off domestic violence. Yeah. And, and he, she come back to life. He'd be like, I love you. So whatever. Like, well, you know, it, uh, I don't even want to comment because I feel like anything <laughs> I say about to go viral. I ain't going to even hold you. They, they viral already without me. Facts, facts, facts. So uh, what was another topic that we wanted to jump in? Oh, Matter man, fact, are you going to go ahead and get uh, the, 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 the kicks, man? You about to go ahead and get them kicks. Oh, them, oh matter of fact, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on your collection, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of kicks, he's talking about Donald Trump just dropped some new shoes. And honestly, <laughs> pew, pew, pew. every time, first first off, the crazy thing is last month, I, they was talking about, oh, you can no, he can no longer run for presidential campaign. They didn't vote it and he can't. How the fuck is he in the running? Donald Trump is a Gemini. Hey, You're not going to stop him. You can't stop You're not going to stop him. <laughs> he? <laughs> My daughter's a Gemini, so I'm scared. <laughs> he is superhuman. Because obviously he didn't <laughs> bankruptcy. Went to, to, he got locked up. <laughs> he didn't. He, no, no, no. He didn't get locked up. Excuse me. They had made an arrangement. Arrangement for him yes, to be there. Go t- there. for them to take a photo of him. There go. and for him to go right back to the a Humvee outside. That's that's motorcade. Wild, man. That's that's and wild. Slide off into that's the wild. sunset. I don't. That's a, that's some. I ain't gonna lie. That's mafioso shit right there. I fuck with Donald T. Country. Man, and then he said he gonna put out a sneaker. 
Well, he said, you know what, niggas? I got you. I got something for you. <laughs> Y'all going to vote for me? Come on now. Come on, I, I, I got a sneaker go- for you. Gold all on my shoes. I, I, <laughs> gold all on that tongue. Gold all in them laces. Gold all in them. Uh, you yeah. know what? It's funny because it's like a lot of people are not going to go ahead and say they're going to get the shoe, but it's going to be plenty of people going to get the shoe. shoe. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, Sneakerheads are going to get it's the It's a staple in history. When the fuck that, have you ever have seen an ex-president or president ever come out with a tennis shoe? That's that's why. his own shoe, not not no shit that you you know what I'm saying. Oh, Adidas and Nike or yeah. or the big brands and oh, that this is a Donald Trump shoe. Nah, Trump this is Trump brand Trump shoe. I, <laughs> he got some lady out there in motherfucking T, uh, Taiwan sewing this shit up, wilding, sewing this shit up for 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 fifteen cent an hour, mm. and uh, y'all buying them for five hundred dollars a pop. I already saw them on eBay. They say they resell them for seven hundred some dollars and up. Damn. They reselling them already. Yeah. They sold out. My boy dropped that package. <laughs> he said, "Y'all got me fucked up. I'm Donald T, nigga. <laughs> Donald T, nigga. T to the capital. Donald T, nigga. You better understand me. It's kind of messed up, but like you know, what I mean, you know, you got a shoe convention, and somebody got them Donald T's. <laughs> they about to get paid. Yeah. yeah. Got to be paid." Well, speaking of getting paid, we're about to go ahead and drop some music and, you know what I'm saying, highlight another artist. Shout out to our our uh, our introduction song, my boy, 1400 Ripper Man. He always comes through with the fire music. He dropped the music off, and that is the official intro song to the Smoker's Man Cave. So anytime you hear the nice. Smoker's Man Cave, come on, you're going to hear that Just just High by 1400 Ripper. Right now, we're about to get into Almighty Domino. It's going down. Yeah. Hey. Lil Mark coming soon. <laughs> You turn me on, turn me up, don't turn me down Try to chop a shoot a whole hundred rounds for you Better love the way I put it down So she perform whenever I'm in town I'm in town, I'm in town, I'm in town She hit my line, drop that dot, is going down I'm in your city, babe, you know what time it is You know how you get, so let your mama watch the kids And she keep it playing, she ain't get no feelings involved She know, it she is. know who to call when it's growling, not them drugs I'm and She know how it go, I gotta get it on the road so when I come in town, she make me feel like I'm at home That's my best friend But loving me's a dead end I can't settle down hard to pretend But my love for you won't never change Range, leave the snow, I'm on my way when I'm in your city, baby Bills pay, card cash, kids good, everything overstood Hold me down when I'm not around, I'm on the way up to take you out the hood Ain't no penny pension, when you with me I feel like the bank's extension Pleasing you is like my only mission, you can tell by how I act when I'm a penny You turn me on, turn me up, don't turn me down Chop a shoot a whole hundred rounds for you Fell in love the way I put it down So she perform whenever I'm in town When I'm in town, I'm in town, I'm in town She hit my line, drop that thought is going down Fell in love the way I put it down So she perform whenever I'm in town Fell in love the way I put it down So she perform whenever I'm in town When I'm in town, I'm in town, I'm in town She hit my line, drop that thought, it's going down Ooh, 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 
DJ Lolo. You know what time it is? We back here in the Smokers Man Cave. That was Lil Mark. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That was Lil Mark, aka Almighty Domino, aka That's My Nigga, aka It's Going Down. That's what it's called. So make sure y'all tap in. That shit's dropping later on this month. Make sure y'all stay tuned for what's going on. Uh, right back in another topic. Uh, we were just talking about some hot shit. You know what I'm saying? He said, uh, what dog breed would be a nigga? What dog breed would be a nigga? I was saying pit bulls because they just in they just in your space just <laughs> they just big as fuck in here. Like nigga, you're big in here, nigga. Yeah. Like you're big in here, not little. My, not, my, my spot, my spot. You're not weak, strong and big up in here. What what, what you think? You know what I mean? Because I know for a fact I'm, I'm on the vote of uh, a pit bull got to be a nigga. Definitely. Um, I'm a girl, so I'm going to do this one for the ladies. I'm not going to say a nigga. But I'm going to say, late, we would be poodles. Them AKA girls, them AKA hotties and stuff, they the, the that, poodles walking poodle around. A poodle would be beast. You know, they be prancing. You know what I'm saying? They still come okay. in, dominate. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Like, this is my space. Like, what? Because they're pretty. They, they <laughs> <gonna be. laughs> yeah, yeah, they're yeah. always great. And the then the our, their hair is like afro. you have to get it done. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Because they right. look retarded if they, they don't have their hair done. So they, they, I they, am they, crying. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen a dirty, raggedy poodle? Never. Uh, I have. It, it, it looks And sad. it don't belong to a black person. Oh, <laughs> and they don't right, belong nah. to a nigga. <laughs> AKA, shit, shit. that would be the female nigga dog. Would be a poodle. Yeah, because right, they want to lay around, be pretty all motherfucking day, and don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I I will say uh, the, the hounds to me are still in the Caucasian nation. I'm, I'm sorry, so I'm going to go ahead and say uh, a hound. You know, a hound dog. Uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah, one that. drooling at the mouth. Yeah, 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 big drooling. You know what I mean, one of them. Nah, I'm, I'm definitely. He's not. He's not one of the the Negro nation. You no, ain't nothing but a hound. No. Yeah, yeah. Wanna see? See, in this, yeah. he got a song. Look, that's why, that's why I said they are. They do what they bro, was already. Yeah. You know, uh, or like the Chihuahuas, man. You gotta know that that's on the Hispanic side. You know what I'm saying? It, it got too many commercials with your kettle Yo Taco kettle Bell. Taco Bell. Yeah, so he can't be. He ain't part of the nigga yeah. nation. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Uh, what's the other that other dog that's a a cop? You know what I'm saying? You see him with all the, the he always sniffing around. You know what I'm saying? The uh, you talking about uh. They, they they always go ahead and use these the dogs. Yeah, man, they they definitely the feds. Big man. ass motherfucking wolf dog. Yeah, yeah. They, they they definitely are Caucasians. I'm I'm sorry. They've been around since the the K and the K's and the K's. <laughs> they've been around he since. Says, the, <laughs> I like the been, way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> they've been around since <laughs> then. So like that, they are definitely not. Uh, they definitely got history. Yeah. So what yeah. would you say like? What would be your like your favorite breed of dog? Like, you know oh, what I'm saying? If you, if you was to have your idea favorite dog, not saying we would understand or what that is, but we've been around some dogs. You'd be like, yeah, that's my favorite. I mean, I, me personally, I'm going to just give you an example. It's a little sheep hounding dog. It's mixed with like Border Collie and um, I forgot the other name, but these motherfuckers go round up sheep. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. okay. Okay. And I yeah, like them cool. dogs. Them yeah. dogs look like they'll bite a motherfucker forehead off. Yeah. You ask him, yeah. he hop right on your chest, nigga. <laughs> bite the nigga forehead right <laughs> off. Tear nigga shit right off. Uh, um, I'm gonna probably go with the uh the, the nigga with the droopy face. You know what I'm saying? Remember the dog that was on Man in Black? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the, yeah, pug. the pug. Yeah, yeah. the pug. Yeah, man. The like, pug. I, I, I fuck with him, man. You I fuck with saying? pugs, but I, you one thing I, re- I I realized my next door neighbor had a pug growing mm-hmm. up. And that little motherfucker was always had some type of health problem. <laughs> yeah, that motherfuckers is expensive. Like they expensive she was always to take going care of. to that's the, the only. That's why I don't got one. Always checking him out. One. I'm like, what he got asthma? That nigga yeah, snoring. He, He's yeah, standing yeah, right I here. Clean next under time. his foes, and he end up going ahead and having. Like, nah, but if you take good care of them, like they're beautiful dogs, and I, I don't. But you wear suits, you high maintenance, so you yeah, high yeah, maintenance yeah, 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 yeah. See, thank mm-hmm. you, appreciate, yeah, it, appreciate. I, it. I understand. I, I, he, he probably a nigga too. That's a <laughs> nigga dog too. Uh, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we always got some high blood pressure yeah, diabetes. Yeah, because yeah, he, he's like, man, he gotta go to the doctor again. <laughs> like, this, this is told you not to drink month. all that Kool Aid. Yeah. Like, nigga, we gotta put Kool Aid in this nigga's motherfucking thing. We like what we like. I, I, I'm gonna go with the cane corso. I got you, brother. Cane corso. They, they, I like those. They real big and protective. You know, 
I I'm kind of scared of it, so somebody else gonna be scared of it. I'm gonna say that that's that's probably mixed. He he got like a. Uh, it's like, an Italian massive. See, it's like he's a little little white, little little mixed with a little black. So I mean, he's 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 he's, still, he's um he's um he there he there, there go, to there go. protect. He's that's like Batman. Logic. He human, but he, you know what I'm saying. He don't look human. There go. I always there wanted go. a uh, uh, Doberman. A Doberman picture. Oh, Those are cool. No, I had a Doberman picture. Them motherfuckers is dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you talking about a real Doberman, yeah. like the full bred, almost like a, uh, it's a, almost like a great name. Oh, see, yeah, nah. you know what I'm saying. I, I fuck with them. That's, them that's the type of dogs like you ride. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, nah, yeah. them motherfucking real Doberman look like a killer. Yeah. And he right. Yeah. It's them. That's that's a nigga. I that's, fuck that's with them nigga. because Rottweilers are just too big. They just sit. They they too. That's another nigga. That's dog. a nigga again. That's a nigga. <laughs> a Rottweiler nigga in here. <laughs> He, he's yeah. He just got this out of jail. Up just he's as trying much to make it. Me. You know what I'm saying? He just got off. Uh, uh, you know, is his second strike. That, that's a Doberman picture. That's yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying. If, if he get this locked nigga up bags one more time, food, go out faster than motherfucking Kool Aid in the house. Nigga. Facts. <laughs> Facts. He, he'll go ahead and protect you and go ahead and tear some shit up. So let's talk about uh, the new Walmart Black Sister doll. Bruh, bruh. What do you feel about that? Bruh. Yeah. They got the big hips, the wide lips. <laughs> I mean, and the, the big hips, the, the 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 huge lips, and she looking big outside. She looking, she man. Look like, I'm gonna have uh, to go ahead. I'm gonna bring up the the picture so the other can see. So, uh, man, is it a coincidence they dropped that shit after Monique went on? Bro, uh, I I, I want to say, um, we gotta pay attention. You, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. it's like I know Monique had the interview, but it's almost like nobody's zooming in on that topic. You know it's the mockery. Yeah, yeah. So it almost like it almost looks like they that. Yeah. Make her a joke to not uh, take her topic serious or what she's saying. Serious. Correct, correct. Yeah. But what makes it even worse with how big the doll is, or like how big the the excuse me, like uh, the um, how it nah, looks. No, that dog big. Like that dog big. Yeah. 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 But she's on top of that, guy. it got watermelon. Like, bruh. Like, it's got. I, that's like. A, let me show you a picture. I didn't. Uh, I haven't seen it. And I looked it up a little bit. Yeah, my boy short. He go. He gonna pull up the research. But I ain't gonna lie. That big sister doll. I saw it because the shade room posted it, and that and that lady. That I'm. That lady look like Big Mama, like Martin from Big Mama House. That lady look like the big uh like Penny Proud. Wow, it do look like Big Mama's house. Yeah, precious. Why she got the scooter? And why she got the fupa? Where did the fupa come from? What's the you know what I'm saying? It's like it's one thing to have the, the food. Look, they eat watermelon and work out, niggas. Bruh, bruh, bruh. <laughs> like, and they got handcuffs in there. What's the I handcuffs for? Wow. I just see the handcuffs and the trash can. So you got a trash? What is it? Is this a trash can? <laughs> I can't. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or is a that big a cup of Kool Aid, bruh? Mm. I don't know one that's of the big, two. Ooh, that's a big ass cup of Kool Aid. I'm gonna just say like, it like this. Show, show the main camera, bruh, bruh, <laughs> bruh. I've been living a long time, but, but no, I've never, never seen it. Never, never seen black. Like, hey man, I'm gonna pick this up for my kids. Where are we playing with this? At? Are these? Is she supposed to be the next door neighbor with and Barbie? How do you explain this doll to your child? <laughs> yeah, for real. I mean, you don't explain it. You just drop it off, and this is just another toy <laughs> added to the bullshit you got in your room. And then they like, oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> What did I just buy? Now, matter of fact, they ain't even putting that shit in the car because that shit scared me after Bruh. I'm looking at it. And that's Walmart, though. It's Didn't a Walmart brand. Yeah, too? see, I don't even shop at Walmart. H-E-B, how at No, me. she got fried chicken on, on the platter as well. H-E-B. They tripping. They tripping. They tripping. They do got... It's fried chicken, man. It's fried chicken. Watermelon yeah. and fried chicken, y'all, in a scooter. Watermelon and fried chicken with scooter and handcuffs. I show you how them big girls like it. Stop playing. They're going to have food. They're going to have big big cups of Kool-Aid. And, uh, it's Rodney Streets. And the scooter to get around because you got to make sure you get Walmart's around. Walmart's wild. Ooh, DJ Lolo, why you do that to me? So, shit, we about to pay a couple more bills, and why then we're going to get back beat? to these topics. You know what time it is. We here in the Smokers Man Cave. We got coming up. T. Flu, Jay Letty, they got a new EP coming out. It's a 26 long minute track and it's called Love. This is one of the songs off of it called Burden. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. Yeah, be. Yeah, be. Lost in 
control over your happiness Why do you act like you don't know what's happening? I'm leaving It's not working, no You're a burden I'm gone, goodbye, good riddance But now it seems you change, baby. A shift in your emotions. Came to stay. And I don't wanna do this, but I have to. Cause I can't, I can't stick around and let you do this too. DJ Lolo, why you do that to me? We're back here at the Smokers Mad Cave, and we got another podcast episode with my boy Short, and we hey. got special special co host host today, Ajari. You know what I'm saying? She came through the DJ, you know, the Smokers Mad Cave to just come, you know, give some change a little scenery in here, bring a little lightness to the room. You know what I'm saying? That's what she do. So, um, just tell us a little. Cave, don't mean before we get started in this next topic, tell us a little bit about you and what you do. And, you know, some of your special abilities, you know, in the industry, you know? I do a little bit of everything, honestly. Um, Marriott, airlines, uh, but mainly uh, just services providing for everyone (laughs) is waxing, facials, you know, things like that. Self-care, get you together. Mainly back facials, okay? Y'all need to come get a back facial from me. I promise you, you've never had it. It's the best thing in your life. You can go to sleep while I do it. Just come see me. She said go to sleep. You ain't gonna do no sleeping. (laughs) Oh, with the facial. Yeah, you might with the facial, you might go to sleep. Might be soothing and all that. But the the actual sugar waxing on the back, that shit. Waxing, if you wax, I'm gonna clean you up. It's gonna be nice. Fresh don't, wax for that don't ass. Don't be afraid of it. And then the sugaring is better. You don't even got to do the wax. We can sugar you up, and that's going to that's gonna hurt less than the wax. It's natural. Well, she's giving y'all the short version. She's also the CEO of Fresh Wax for that ass clothing line. <laughs> she also has her own. For that ass. You know, but her I'm, own waxing company. She she bit, she been waxing people for a minute now. Uh, of course, I was one of the people that she waxed. <laughs> I uh, only I only talk about the pain because I never I never been waxed before so I didn't know what to expect and it was a little overwhelming for me but a lot of you niggas be getting that shit on your ass and I don't know how the f- it's I ain't good even about for to say sanitation I understand the, the I understand the reasons and I all that you, and the if whole, you have thirty or forty years of hair that you've had there real quick and then if you shave real quick on, thirty if you forty shave, years of hair <laughs> <laughs> God. Damn. I'm just saying, 
And then if you shave, it's better it to wax because I mean I get you, fat. but you didn't have to like look, you didn't have to get to the description. I look, was like, man, that's, that's just what I'm that saying. sounds nasty. You said you don't 30 have to or 40. Be ashamed. <laughs> you don't have to know. I got you. 30, 40 years of not washing that ass, Ooh, it's a problem. Of hair. Of it's hair. there. So let's it just get it off. Let's start fresh. You know what it ain't been ball fresh. Let's get it fresh. Well, I mean, because it's in Tell them your, your Instagram because it's implanted in my head of, of a, a whole fro of it's 30 to 40 Rougeau. years on your ass. <laughs> Royal, just how it spells Royal, underscore Rougeau, R-O-U-G-E-A-U, okay? Royal Rougeau, we're going to get you right. Hey, All right, I promise. I might have to go ahead and... Uh, I ain't, so I don't got quick, no uh, 30, 40 years. Have you years. ever got your ass waxed? <laughs> hey, man, all right, man. All right, I just had to ask, right, brother, right, just from ah, G to G. Hey, I got to hey, ask. Don't judge me, man. Don't I, judge I'm, me. No, ju- I mean, I, like, no judgment zone. You the guy with the back tattoo. But, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, damn. You show right. That, that was on the episode, We ain't too. judging. We just, right, I'm just yeah, asking. There you go. I, I was in the Navy, you know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. And um, when I was trying to go ahead and be a rescue diver, you know what I'm saying? I I went ahead and got got to shave it all, man. Gotta gotta shave it all, man. Yeah. He so, said when I was being a rescue diver, yeah, I had to turn into flipper. Yeah, so so I will use uh the nair. And the I, nair, okay, yeah, yeah. You that ain't nair. going to get that ass waxed though. That's no, different. Man, that's, that's white. It, that's a yeah, that's just, a white. Yeah, that's I, a, like, that's a yeah. people doing that. Shh, like yeah. the shh. I just this, shh. Ooh, yeah. it just and she said thirty and forty years. It's shh. Yeah, 30, 40 years of, uh, of yeah, ripped your soul right out your body, huh? Right out your asshole. I can't Man. right now. With the boo-boo stains and everything. I everything. But also, if you don't, okay, if you don't want to wax, okay. you can clean yourself up in that way. Facials are still good for you. you know, nah, you know, you I feel you on the facial. Yeah, yeah. The facials are good. The facials are good. I actually need some shit done. But we are gonna get to that off camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know with the you know with the, the you know beard hairs. And yes. All that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I feel you on that one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, man, that's way more subtle than talking about you know uh, giving a uh, boosted fade on the ass. And then I mean <laughs> I don't know fade. how you okay. know blunt I could be, but if for the dudes who like their booty lick, you might as well get your booty waxed if you gonna have somebody licking your. I'm just hey, saying. I don't know, I don't know who hey, put right now in, on the live. How many of y'all <laughs> niggas getting y'all booty <laughs> lit? I ain't hey, gonna lie. You like to do that to your man. You, know you getting your saying? ass you lit, nigga. And I'm gonna hey, get bro. it smooth. It's and, gonna be nice. You know what? Kevin Gates had one song. Where's the ladies that talking about they wanna, you know, eat booty? Well, yeah, it all started with that. I love when he eat it like groceries. Yes. That song, when that song came out, get the fuck out of here. Ain't no gro- groceries. There's <laughs> so many flavors in there. Do you not know what that shit sound like? That shit sound like it's a party of disgusting in there. (laughs) Eat the booty like groceries. But you no, just, you eat all the baby. groceries when you come home. No. So that's all, all, all of them, all mm-hmm. of them. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's the, time out, the time out. I ain't I'm never had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and had an orange and jam. And then back door and then had back some crackers, some celeries, and some yeah. Give, give me some, and then let me have some ice cream after fuck that. It, you know, you should, you know, give me the ice cream. Fuck it, nigga. You gonna be fucked up eating all of that shit, nigga. Black eyed peas. I said, look, look, check, check, check this out. They said, make sure you look at your uh. Make sure you get your ass waxed, and if you is getting your ass waxed, come to this lady right here. You there know what I'm saying? She gonna make sure she you write right. fresh wax for that ass. Man, that's what it is. Thirty, forty years gone. Oh my god, thirty, forty years. She said thirty, forty years of hair gone. <laughs> so let's talk about what's the difference between an MC and a rapper. Uh, I'm I'm asking. I'm I do music. But I'm gonna ask somebody who who's just uh, who watches entertainment. Oh, okay. I I'll go on this one first. Then, goddamn it. Okay, MC. You know what I'm saying? MC is supposed to be uh you know to rock the mic. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know a, a, a rapper itself. You're you know you you can entertain. But the difference from an MC, the MC is gonna go ahead and be like, hey, on this part of the song, I want y'all to say fuck this, <laughs> fuck this. Then we let, let's do the song. <laughs> And blah, 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 blah. so when they hear "fuck this," the crowd says it. That's a person that's rocking the audience. That's an MC. A yeah. rapper, it will be somebody that's more of like a Logic or somebody like Eminem. But the difference from you know just rapping and just being a performer, that's that's a rapper. But the difference um, between the two, not only MCs can be people that are in hip hop or rappers, yeah. but an MC can also be somebody like you. 
Yeah. Like DJ, you know what I'm saying? You, you actually MC master the, ceremony, the people that get the room turned up. There it's, I go. it's really you you know, you really you know, you really get in there for the people. It's for the people. You know, master ceremony is being able to control the room. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of DJs can't control the room. They just like to spend records. Facts. So you gotta understand that that DJ might not be M C but you gotta understand my DJ profile, it just depends on my type of audience. If I'm dealing with the older crowd, I'm still emceeing all night because we talking to the old people. We ain't sitting down. We we uh we 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 shaking ass. We coming to uh. I want to work out that little surgery I got to get the new hip. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to fuck that up. I want you to go home and feel that like, anymore. Like damn, I should have. I need to ice this up. Mm -hmm. But that that's that's an MC. I packed them extra shoes in the car because this nigga kept me on the floor. There you I go. Know what you saying? know what I'm saying? She she had to get the flats out. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. 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 yeah that's, that's that's an MC, you know. What I'm so uh, a rapper, I mean, somebody that just goes out and they rap, they 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 good at their craft, and you can rap. I know some rapping ass niggas, but when it comes down to being an MC and being able to project to the audience and be able to command the audience, that's a whole nother craft. That's a whole nother game. Actually, actually that's why I gotta commend this man over here, right here, man. He he rocked the crowd every time. God damn it, yeah. he, he gets people involved, yeah. involved. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Already, Shout out man. Dumb, Already, man. So yeah. what about for like? So like Nicki Minaj and Remy Ma. Um, Remy Ma to me, Remy Ma's MC because yeah. she knows how to talk to crowds. She's she knows in battle how to rap culture. She, they, that's what battle rap culture really mm -hmm. represents. Is mm -hmm. the is that they're the MCs. You know what I'm, They do it a lot without without yeah. music. There you go. You know what I'm saying. But a rapper. Uh, would be Nicki Minaj. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because she can, she just goes out there and rap. And usually, you know, in the status that she's at right now, she don't really do too much rapping. Right. The crowd is doing that shit. So right. it's Girl, like, you know, you just really going along with it. Because like at the beginning of her career, I would go ahead and say, yeah, she probably did more MCing. Yeah. But now at the fact now, it's just she's just rapping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shout out to her radio station, you know, Queen Radio and everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She probably does more MCing on that. Yeah. But, you know, uh, but as far as, like, being a rapper, you know what I'm saying? We we going to get that to Nicki Minaj. We're going to hold that down. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I will go ahead and say uh, the reason why I brought this topic up, man, because you got this DJ versus battle coming up. So that's why I was right. saying you you are uh, 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 actually a MC, bro. So, yeah. you know, it, it's it's one thing to control the the crowd, but, like, you do it every Friday where you actually go from pushing it and actually go ahead, like, just because it's a track that you like, you got to make them like it also. Mm. Yeah. So that's the same thing with performance, too. You know what I mean? Like, when you perform your song, like, everybody don't know your song. So, you know, be it, put that in mind as far as when you actually perform a song, you got to be an MC, not just a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to take it from the position that everybody doesn't know your song. Facts. Right. So if you help teach them and you get them at least familiar before they get familiar, then they'll, oh, damn, okay, that's what he, oh, yeah, I like yeah. this song that much more. Because now I'm in, in tune, you know it's what I'm saying? And, and what I will go ahead and say, not to get us off topic, but um, R&B is different from rap because it's like, if you sing, you can go ahead and sing Jill Scott's song and then come back and sing your own song that you created. Mm -hmm. As you mm -hmm. being a rapper, you know what I mean, you have to go ahead. This is your craft. You can't go ahead and start rapping. I've never heard Future rap another nigga song ever. <laughs> I've never see? heard uh, Drake right. get on there right. and rap another nigga song ever. But, uh, 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 I mean, these old head niggas do it to show homage and shit now. They take yes. people lines all the time. He I take lines, Future. but he's And I'm not saying they don't take lines, to, to, but... Well, we're saying, like, actually rap a whole song. You know like, what I'm saying? You know artists that's out there. Like, how LeBron will put somebody on, the, on his live... Yeah. And he'll be in the gym or whatever in his car, turning up to that artist, rapping his right, lyrics. Right. You've never seen another rapper do that right. with another rapper. Because they always have to like be the that. best. See, it's always a competition thing. There I go. There I go. Really, for me, you know, that's that's what kind of take the fun out of music. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, music is music. It, it is. It is. It it's is. not competition. It's music. It's gonna. If it's good, it lasts forever. If it's if it's right now music, it, it'll be gone tomorrow. Facts. So right. is it the like the battle to make money is what makes it a competition. Um, it's about popularity. It's not the money because yeah, you, you, you got to be energy. popular to make money. It's male money. dominated and y'all got egos. And so I wasn't. No, I was, <laughs> it's male and female. You know, you got to understand. And, and females are the top of the game right now. Like, yeah, it, yeah. It, it's 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 harder for women 
when it comes into the rap uh, battle because it's like when you get into rap and you want to go ahead and you're a woman, like it's little to none. So no matter how lyrical you are, you actually have to push your brand even harder. Like what makes you better than Remy? What makes you better than a gorilla? You know what I'm saying? Like because in the same, same hand, it's, 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 a, it's a face. You got to not only look the part, you got to go ahead and be sexy. You have yeah. to go ahead and say something other than shaking ass. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when it comes into the male do- dominant side of, of rap, it's almost like, okay, well, yeah, you can talk about everything in, in underneath the sun, but you don't have to go ahead and... Let's be real. That's why a lot of males write records for females, female artists because at the end of the day, women only write with one spectrum, emotion. See, men are able to put logic, party, and emotion all together. We're able to tap into different realms. Women are only able to not not saying all women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't trying to get canceled out here. Nah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But let's be real. But women are emotional creatures, and yeah, so they'll. Yeah, yeah. We should understand, ladies. We'll have a finish and an end to a song, but a lady song will keep going. <laughs> that's funny. That's that's that's, a, next. that's 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 just the real. <laughs> yeah, like Sway Lee wrote for Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's almost like you have to get something, you know, from one side side of the spectrum. And we're not saying a woman can't write and for a man, but another thing, men that are able to write, men that are able to write records for women are able to tap into that feminine side, Fashion. are able to get in touch with that, to identify with a woman. To I even be Drunk able to put those expressions and those things on on wax, you know what I'm saying? Drunk in love was futures, and then yeah, that was yeah, Beyonce, yeah, and yeah. One of her best, yeah, well, one yeah, of her sure. best records. Yeah. That's true, 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 true. But I I still like futures version better. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more popular Sorry, with Beyonce. the ladies with Beyonce though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I mean, un- unfortunately, you know what I mean. But that's the reason why <laughs> you got rappers. And you have MCs, bro. Yeah. So, uh, speaking of rappers and MCs, and, um, you know, we got T Flu live tonight. Uh, Facts. What, what would you put him in? A, what what kind of lane or what kind of uh, category would you put him in? He's mm. in his own. As a, as a, you know, as a listener. He, he's in his own. Um, unfortunately, I want to go ahead and go with you can't put him in the rap zone um you you have to put him into the mc zone to a certain extent because is the way he entertains it's almost like it's a a eliciting you know i mean um he's talented where he's he plays different instruments he's vocal he actually uh knows what type of tune you know his voice needs to go ahead and do um for each track track so um when you go ahead and have that that level of talent, it's yeah. kind of kind of hard to not go ahead and put them into the MC uh, standpoint. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up, man. This has been another legendary episode of the Smokers Man Cave. Make sure y'all go like, share, subscribe, and hit down below all the links that I'm gonna put because I'm gonna put her link on there for her Instagram. Put short link on there. I'm gonna put my my link on there. My link tree, make sure y'all hit that motherfucker, go look at all my work. And it's been real. Almighty Domino T Flu. Work. Let's go ahead and wrap it up. Blue on a B, wipe your nose. Rain, sleet or snow. It's a for sure thing, I need my dough. See, I'm about my green like piccolo. I got a lot of holes, so I'ma talk my shit for show. I got a nice lineup for my customers so you can pick and roll. Come back, give me my dough. Bye, ho. That's a give and go. See, for me, pimping ain't difficult, but it damn sure ain't easy. One of my sleazy say, Charlie, I'm done. This time, believe me. I said, bitch, how you gonna leave me when you need me? Quit talking greasy. <coughs> this that gas. Lolo, bring that shit back.